I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Some of you may have seen the uh, video where I took a couple of minutes and weeded out the landscaping stone in the front yard between the sidewalk and the foundation. And I use this little two-tine cultivator, which has worked very well for me for a number of years. We first got it from Nana back in, must have been 1979, long time ago, 41 years. That's a long time. No, 43 years. Time flies when you're having fun. Anyways, I said at the time when I was out there doing the weeding that this had earned its uh, chance at being cleaned up and repaired. Now, I put boiled linseed oil on this handle a while back and it's due for another coat. So I thought while I was doing that, I would clean it up, tighten up the head a little bit, straighten out the tines, and then uh, put some more boiled linseed oil on the handle. It's gonna last another 43 years. I hope to be using it 43 years from now. Always want to make sure and tighten that down before you start the grinder, otherwise the torque will cause it to tighten up so much you might not get it off. It's just held on by four little tabs. There we go. Not 100% solid, but it's never been tight, so I don't think it's going to bother anything.
nice and solid. Now, sand off this part, put some blow on it, then tape it off and paint the head. It's going to look beautiful. Now, just to be sure, now just to be sure, this isn't to make this into a showpiece. It's going to look better just because it's all going to be the same color and looking good. But it's more to make sure that it lasts another 40 years. Because if you take care of your tools, keep them away from humidity, keep them out of the sunlight, and use them and put them away when you're done with them so that they're in a safe, secure, dry spot, they're gonna last indefinitely. So I try and make sure that I go through at least every, sometimes every three or four years, and coat all the handles with uh, boiled linseed oil, make sure that I've repaired any damage or breaks or cracks, sharpen them up so that the edges are uh, in good condition again, uh, trying not to take off any more than I absolutely have to because there's no point taking off a whole lot of material. Uh, you can't put it back. So that's all we're doing here is just I cleaned off any rough spots on the handle. I've uh, applied some boiled linseed oil to seal it, then I'm going to go over it with a uh, steel wool in the morning and then I'm going to go over it with wax after I get the paint on the head. 
because I want to get the boiled linseed oil done, dried, and all set up. I'll paint the head, let that dry, and it'll be all set up. And then this tool will be ready to go back into the garage and hang on the rack like it's been for all the 10 years we've lived here. Going on 12. Going on 11. Time flies. Anyways, so now the handle's done. And I've got the head tightened up and wire brushed and cleaned. We'll just let her set overnight. This and the glue job on the hammer, we have to leave them long enough so that they set up. Rushing a job, trying to make sure that you get it done quick, it's always a losing proposition. So, leave this set, leave that set, come down in the morning after I've had a good night's sleep, whatever little sleep I get, and then uh, we'll come back at it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.